Tension buttress stabilization allows rescuers to quickly stabilize vehicles in precarious positions. In this first scenario, we'll stabilize a vehicle on its side. The first step is to size up the length of the 4x4s to be used. After the initial size up, you can use the extender or a longer 4x4 to get the proper length. The angle of the 4x4 and the ground should be between 45 and 60 degrees. Next, position the head and base. The head should be against a solid part of the vehicle and firmly in place. Attach the base to the 4x4 and connect the J-hook to a strong anchor point. In this case, we connected it to the bumper mount. After attaching the J-hook to the vehicle, thread the strap through the ratchet and tighten. After the strap is tightened, use the excess strap to tie down the ratchet handle. Then, store any excess strap out of the rescuer's way. When stabilizing a vehicle on its side, you will need a minimum of two points stabilized. Here, the head of the Kappa Bear Claw is placed near the base of the C-post. Then, the J-hook and strap are run under the vehicle and secured to the axle. It is important to Replan the extrication so that you don't position the stabilizing device in your access or egress routes. Now that you know how to use the cap of air claws, we will focus on positioning the devices. The next vehicle is on its roof. Using this type of stabilization device is much faster than box cribbing. Here, the head of the cap of air claw is placed on the bumper. After this is in place, the J-hook is placed around the C-post. After the J-hook is in place, Thread the strap through the ratchet and tighten. Be sure to tie off the ratchet and store the excess strap. To finish stabilizing this vehicle, add a second Kappa Bear Claw to the bumper. This will give side-to-side -side stability. In this last scenario, we have two vehicles, one on the other with a utility pole between them. The first thing to do is to marry the cars together. 
We have done this by connecting a ratchet strap from the front of one vehicle to the rear of the other. Next, the stabilizing devices are placed like outriggers and are connected together. Notice the way the J-hook is connected. The hook from one is connected to the strap of the other. Be sure that the stabilizing devices are aligned with each other. If not, they could slip off the vehicle when tightened. Thank you for watching this video presentation from American Rescue Technology.